Dexter. Baxter. Baxter. That's Dexter. all right. Baxter. You can call me Baxter, Dexter, whatever you like to call me. Okay. I'm Baxter King. So we're here today with Dave McConkey, artist extraordinaire. Tell me a little bit about this art. I, I don't know a lot about it yet. I do know it's made out of a unique medium, which I think will shock kind of it'll shock people. It's not your typical art medium. No, it isn't, I, and that's what I was looking for, was a completely different medium to do a, a large sculpture. And I finally hit up on potatoes that I could petrify. It took me two years to figure it out. And uh, I just got it to where it was petrified, and my oldest daughter showed up with my two grandkids, so I had to throw everything out because of the acids and the heavy chemicals. Now I use things that are edible, drinkable, to uh, do it with. And my grandkids can get around it and I don't worry about it. So it's petrified potato is what all this is made of. Wouldn't you like to have a set like this in your kitchen? Why, of course you would. So does this go well with bacon and sour cream? Like, is this stuff edible still? No, you gotta have chives. This is my favorite, my dad was on a railroad for 36 years, so that's why I got my uh, Potato Express. Do you have like your first piece up here? Which one did you start out with? This one here was my very first one. Wow, and you you, you didn't have any of these marked and you knew that this, this was your first piece. You see, you are the first man to know what is happening. Okay, you've both seen the screen, right? Yeah. The movie? That fellow. Yeah. Now, no matter how you turn him, you got. Oh, uh, you got the mask. Another nice. face. <laughs> Just incorporated, you know. Uh, uh, yeah. How many? Now I'm really going upstairs to do my homework. Actually, there's four mouths and four eyes, but you can get a face any which way you turn it. So it is, it's, it's pretty light. That's a potato. That is amazing. Now I know neither one of you know what mushrooms are. Oh no, I... But this is the other kind. Where did you find this? These are the happy mushrooms. Yeah, well, they stay happy. You well, know, don't but... you be surprised if these come up missing. Them. Where did you find this? I noticed you have a, it's like a little canoe. Is that, yeah, is well, that a canoe? An Inuit uh, boat or Eskimo. I actually had meals at places where the potato has come out looking like this before you even get a <laughs> hold of it. Tell me about this piece. Okay, this is chicken wire and mache. It's a, uh, a thing for me to go by to make one out of stone. I haven't got there yet. This side over here, when women had no voice, no face, no form, uh, back when. Mm -hmm. Now, you come around here and they're on their own and really coming into, in a big way, they've got a mouth, but now they've got form, they're getting their arms, they're getting the strength. So women it's like the capable. evolution of women. Yes. Okay. And my younger sister is on me to do one now I don't even have this one out of cement yet, but she wants me to do one where they're complete now. Right. And I've got to do that, and I'll put it with this one then. She's pretty. Is she single? Oh, I thought you met my sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe your pretty. sister too. All right. Uh, yes, she's single. <laughs> she hadn't. She hadn't got a ring finger yet. All <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's about, uh, uh, kind of uh, missing <laughs> some vital pieces there. I'm not sure where she put the ring. But we will... Well, I can think of two places she can <laughs> put the ring. <laughs> you can put them anywhere now. <laughs> All right.
Do you have another favorite piece around here that... Uh, uh, not potato, you mean? Yeah, it's something not made from potatoes. Copper devil. Copper devil? The devil has hovered over the city, made it his own. The people in it are his. And how long ago did you create the deceiver? Uh, it's been uh, five years. Five years ago? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was at IU in the uh, sculpting department. A couple of girls had come down from Cooksey's class, which is a religious type class, and they were discussing the devil behind me, and one said how bad she, or how much she was afraid of the devil. And it kept going on and on, and I was trying to work, but I was being nosy. And I turned around and said, I'll tell you what, if he scares you so bad, I'll put him on his knees for you. So that's, so that's why he's on his knees. Exactly. Well, I noticed you even do some uh, <coughs> some pieces that are like with found art, like things yeah. you find uh, just out and about, and you you pick them up and turn them into something new. I hold on to I've got I got a junkyard, I do, <laughs> really? but I've got what I need. Pack rat? Go look pack rat. Yeah, but found art is exactly that. You uh, you get enough pieces uh, and something will hit. <laughs> That will go with this, this will go with that, and eventually you uh, you come up come with, with like Charlie McCarthy. So it's not like with other kinds of art where you kind of have the idea before you get started, like you kind of get the idea from whatever you find in the dumpster or wherever right. you happen to be looking. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Chicken before the egg kind of thing. Well, Just yeah. Sort of? Yes, maybe. Maybe I don't know what the hell no, I'm talking I, about. I, no, I think you're doing pretty good. <laughs> you just explained something to me. I am drunk. <laughs> You've met me now. Do you think I could do this potato art? You think My I could... four and eight-year-old grandkids can. Really? Yeah. Wow. There's nothing to hurt them. They don't need a knife. You could use a spoon or, you know. None of the chemicals that you soak this stuff in is dangerous? They can drink it, eat it while they're doing it. Wow. Honestly. I don't know. Sometimes my intellect is not quite up to a five-year-old or three-year-old, so... Uh, um, I do have I a... I could probably uh, hurt myself with well, spoon, I have, given a chance. I have a page I'm going to put in. It's a waiver <laughs> for certain people. Yes, that is what I need, <laughs> a waiver. I would I'd, I'd like to thank you a lot for meeting with us today. Um, it was really cool seeing your art and I uh, really appreciate you having us. Well, I appreciate you all coming. Do you, do you put the canvas down on the ground, put gunpowder on it and yeah, just and lit it, it, <laughs> lit it up? Backed up. <laughs> Oh, it, it, now, did you know that something explosive was going to happen? You're yeah. Pretty, right, you were pretty sure. Yeah, but I didn't think I had that much. <laughs> right. But it, it didn't burn it. And, the uh, measurements were a little off. Yeah. yeah. Personalized potato, eh? Yes. Nice. So you could personalize Baxter King in there if you want to. Uh, it would fit real good. <laughs> I don't think it would. You know what the sun's all Just can't.